Hi, welcome to the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at the University of Mount Union. I'm Dr. Jeff Draves and I'm chair of the department. What we're about to show you today is some of the instrumentation we have in our instrument lab that our students use during their research projects and during their, their coursework here at all stages of the curriculum. Uh, please take a look through our website, watch the rest of the video, and we hope that you'll get in contact with us and we'd love to see you for a visit. Hi there, I'm Dr. Booth, and I'm here with Morgan and Rebecca, and we're using an instrument called a GCMS, the exact same model, seen on CSI Miami, no less, and we're performing a forensic experiment to analyze the chemical composition of fingerprints. And so Morgan is going to take her fingerprint on a slide, and then with a Q-tip, after dipping it in a liquid, she'll take up all that, the oils from the print, and then we'll dissolve it in liquid, prepare the sample, and then Rebecca will inject the sample into our instrument. This will separate all the chemical components of the fingerprint and quantify the amounts. And so from this data, we can get information about the perpetrator of a crime. For example, a male might have a different chemical composition of the fingerprint than a female. Or we may be able to analyze nicotine in the fingerprint of a smoker, for example. And so this is one, one of our instruments that we commonly, commonly use in our analytical labs. Hi, I'm Dr. Woodward, and Zach and Jimmy today are going to help demonstrate an instrument in the lab known as HPLC, which stands for High Performance Cyclic Chromatography. And specifically, the experiment that they're working on is to analyze a solution containing both glucosamine and glucose, two carbohydrates. And they'll take a liquid solution, inject a sample of that into the instrument, and the instrument will then provide a readout, which gives us an idea of the relative abundance of these two materials. Hi, my name is Dr. Deb Boyd Kimball. And this is Alyssa. We're working with the microplate uh, reader, which reads the absorbance of small samples in a short period of time. We often use this to measure the activity of enzymes.